Hi everyone, this is Adam Virgil, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your player card or your player profile dynamic. To do that, we already have formulas here that are index match to get the data for the player that we select for each of these variables. But if we were to move position over here and put shoots over here, these would not change. The way that we make this in a way so that we can change things is we can turn our variables into drop down menus and we can adjust these formulas a little bit. To create a drop down menu, we can go to data, data validation, and the cell range is the range that you want to create a drop down for cell C5, which is right here. That's perfect. That's what we want to do. And we're going to do list from a range, reject the input if it is not in this list or else we'll get errors. And then we'll select what we want to be in our drop down menu. So let's select data range, go to our profiles, and let's select all of our headers in our profiles. We can do that by clicking on the number one right here or row one. I'll say profiles one to one. This is what I would do because if you add in more information, those variables will become available in your drop down. If you were to go profiles A1 to I1, then if we were to add more variables to the right in columns K, J, L, M, those would not exist in our drop down. So let's go profiles one to one as our range and click OK and save. Now, if we go back to our player profile, we should be able to select from any of the variables that we have defined. So we'll pick shot side. You can do this for each of the variables that you want to pick from, or you can copy what you've just done, highlight the other variables, paste special, and paste the data validation only. So let's do that. Now we have arrows next to each, and there are lots of errors because what we typed in does not match the column headers that we have here. So we need to select the appropriate column header. We have position, we have current age, current jersey number, and current team. Great, now we have no errors. Now, we just need to make an adjustment to our formulas here. Before, we defined that in this one, in this formula, we wanted to get the position column. And in this one, we wanted to get the shot side column. But to make this more dynamic, let's just write the formula over again. So let's erase what we have in here. And let's make this dynamic. To do that, we'll go equals index, open parenthesis. And now, because we don't know what column we want, before we were just looking for column B in our profiles area, which was the position. But because we don't know what column we want, we're going to have to select, let's say, cell A1 all the way to N. Okay. We'll go all the way to N because we don't know if we're going to add more data or not. And if you think you're going to add even more than this, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? I'm, st I'm starting over. Let's add even more columns because I don't want you to run out, of, run out of space of stuff to choose from. And we'll do this again in other videos not relating to the profile. Let's go all the way. Let's just add a bunch of columns here just so that they're there for you to add stuff in. All the way to AC. Okay, great. So let's start this equation over again. And we'll go equals index, open parenthesis. And now because we don't know what column we want to get data from or what we want to go in this cell, we can say we want to look for something in between cell A1 colon AC, which pretty much brings up it's the entire sheet. So we're looking for something in here. And what this allows for you to do is add more data and have it be accommodated for in your formula. Comma. Now, which row do we want to get the information from? Well, we're still going to do that match that we did before. So we'll go match, open parenthesis, and our search key is going to be 
the athlete's name that we pick, comma, and the athlete's name that we pick has to match the name that we type into our profiles, and that's going to tell us which row to get the data from, comma, zero, because it has to be an exact match. We go over this in the player profile video. And now we need to add in another match. So because we don't know what column we're getting information from, comma, before in the last video, we just typed in column one because we our index was only looking at one column. Now we need to figure out which column to get data from, and we can use that match again. So we'll say match, open parenthesis, go back to our player profile, and let's select the item, oop, the item, the column header that we pick, comma, and where are we going to find that column header? Well, we're going to find it in row one, right here, one to one, comma, zero. It has to be an exact match, and we'll close off the parentheses and click enter. And now you see we have left. We're saying look for something in our profiles between cell A1 and AC, which is the entire sheet. And to, for the row, let's match the person's name in profile, so the person that we pick. And for the column, let's match whatever we select in our dropdown to the column headers, and we'll get whatever that is. So now if we change this to position, we'll get the position. If we change it to current team, we'll get current team. So to make this apply to everything else, we can just lock some things in with dollar signs. So a dollar sign for the A, before the 1, before the AC, for the A and the 3, for our row, and before the A's in our profiles. And then before the C, or we don't really have to, but before the C in this, where we're looking for columns, and before the 1 and the 1. What this allows us to do is it keeps everything the same, except when we copy and paste this formula down, it'll apply to each row of the thing that we select, if that makes sense. The last thing that we do before we close this off is at the beginning, we'll go if error, open parenthesis, and if there's an error with anything going on in here, what do we want to happen? Comma, we want, at least I want, quote, quote, which means make it blank, and close the parenthesis and click enter. Now we can copy what we have in here and just paste it across right here. And there we go. We have everything that we need. And now one very important thing to consider, let's open this up. And this is what you need to do if you want to make it dynamic is because we are looking for a column in this profiles area and we're selecting it from this dropdown, you will want to name your columns in your profiles area for how you want them to appear in your drop downs and on the page. So this says shot side. Maybe I wanted to say shoots. And if I click enter and go back to the player profile, now shoots will be in here instead of shot side. And when I select it, we'll still get the same data, but it affects the way that things look. So current jersey number, current team, maybe all that stuff is fine, and we can leave it like this. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.